Hey everyone, it's Jack here. I wanted to show you a few bits and pieces from my collection that you might not have seen before. You're probably used to seeing vacuums on my channel, but today I've got my Hoover single top washing machine and the matching spin dryer. I bought the washing machine a few years ago and the matching dryer was very kindly given to me by a friend. And both machines have been worked on by uh, other friends of mine who are much more technically skilled with washing machine repair than I am. So big thank you for getting them back into working order for me. I don't use these as my day-to-day -day machines. I've got a modern washer that I use, uh, but I do use them maybe four or five times a year, just because it's quite fun, really. So today I'm going to wash a small load of white pillowcases. And if we get stuck along the way, we've got these handy guides to help us. Now, before we get started, it's probably a good idea to take a look at how the machine actually works. Hoover called this rotating impeller here the pulsator, and they claimed it would create multiple currents within the water to gently but thoroughly wash the clothes without damage. We're going to do a whitewash today and we're going to start by filling the machine with hot water. Now while it fills we can add the detergent. I do have some vintage parcel here, I'm not going to use that today, we're actually going to use Ariel. So now we've got the heater on and we're just waiting for the machine to come up to temperature. There's no preset programs or temperatures, but for a whitewash hoover recommend that the water be rather hotter than the hand can bear. So let's wait for that. Okay, it feels like we're probably about hot enough now, so let's switch on the motor and start adding our laundry. Okay, that was our four minutes up. So now we can move the laundry from the washing machine and into the spin dryer. Now first we're gonna remove the soapy water and put that back into the wash tub. And then we're gonna go ahead with the rinses.
So that was our final rinse and the laundry should now be ready for the dryer. Now we've finished those final items of the wash, it's time to empty the machine. That's pretty quick and easy to do, you attach the pump hose to the filling and emptying hose and the machine will pump itself out. The only thing to take care of is to make sure you've got the lid on the machine when it's pumping out or you'll find the pulsator will spray water all around the room, which is not ideal. That's about all there is to it. You can see the machine is now empty and ready to be put away until next time.